what you'll need for the cinnamon sugar is two teaspoons of cinnamon and one third of a cup of sugar. And then after for the batter, you'll need a cup of sugar, a cup of milk, one egg beaten, two cups of flour sifted, half a teaspoon of salt, one heaping tablespoon of baking powder, and one third of a cup of vegetable oil. So let's get started. I have two cups of flour in my sifter, and I'm just going to put in the sifter the salt, the baking powder, and I'm just going to sift it like that. Now you don't have to sift your flour if you don't want to, but I just prefer to do it. And we're going to make our cinnamon sugar. Now you can always buy this pre-made, but honestly it's so easy, you might as well just make it at home and it's cheaper. So I'm going to put my two teaspoons of cinnamon in my one third of a cup of sugar. Let's give it a good mix. See, and that's all you need to do and we're just going to leave this on the side for later. Now in our bowl, we're going to cream one cup of white sugar, one third of a cup of vegetable oil, and our one egg. Cream this with our hand mixer really well. And now we're going to alternate from our flour mixture that we put the baking soda and salt in with our one cup of milk. into the loaf pan that's already floured and buttered. Sprinkle half of the cinnamon sugar that we made. Get a knife and make little swirls with it, like so. So the cinnamon gets at the bottom. There we go. Gently put the rest of the batter on top. And smooth it out so any of the cinnamon on the sides aren't showing. And put the remainder of the cinnamon sugar on top of the loaf. If you like, you can use the knife and do the same thing that you did to the middle layer. Now I've warmed up the oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake this bread for about 45 minutes. 